very edge. Don't worry if you mess up your circle a little bit because we can go back and fix that later. But I'm going to do that all the way around my circle. Notice how no matter where I start on that circle, I'm always pulling straight out from that point. All right, and I'm doing that to every single flower and then dry it. We used white first because now I'm going to back, go back in with some bright yellow and do the same exact thing. It doesn't have to match up exactly, but if we hadn't done the white, the yellow would have turned green because of the blue in our background and we want it to be vibrant like the sunflowers usually are. So I'm doing this to every single flower again, the same stroke all the way around until the white is pretty much covered. Don't worry if it isn't completely, but this time I'm going to go in with some like golden yellow doing the same thing, but notice I'm not going all the way out to the edge. It's okay if the white and the bright yellow peek out because that gives you a little bit of a halo around it. It just, it looks like a highlight, really pretty. So I'm 